Hi guys, today I'll be talking about the top 10 sexiest perfumes that I own in my collection. And what I mean by sexy is not cute sexy, pretty sexy, alright? What I mean is something that evokes I'm sexy and I know it. Imagine the vibe of Megan Fox, that would be the vibe of these perfumes. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do reviews and recommendations of affordable and luxury fragrances in my channel. Now, if that sounds interesting to you, then please do keep watching and maybe consider subscribing. Now, the 10 perfumes that I have in here today, to me, scream sex appeal and confidence, okay? These are the kind of perfumes that are kind of my vibe as well actually that's why i'm excited to talk by the way guys before i forget i just want to let you know that i am going to exans in milan so yeah i'm very excited about that i finally booked my flight and hotel and it will be my first time how about you are you coming um yeah i would love to know now let's talk about perfumes and the first perfume that i'm going to talk about is the newest release from Goldfield and Banks, and this is called Silky Woods Elixir. I never bought a bottle of the OG Silky Woods, just because for me, it was kind of similar to a lot of fragrances that I own in my collection, like Casablanca and Vanilla Woods. And so when this came out, I was actually excited because the bottle looks very enticing to me and you guys this is beautiful and sexy yes it has that vanilla woods dna however with this one i think they added more saffron and heavier in gayakud so basically this is like a heavier woody quite balsamic a version of silky woods i find this extremely sexy guys i love how the peru balsam and the saffron came out in the opening and then as it dries down i don't know i'm getting some berries effect as well even though um there are no berry notes listed but then i realized i think the fruity nuances that i'm getting is coming from the fig leaf this to me is definitely the darker version of silky woods and i don't find them redundant okay? i definitely prefer this version hence i have a bottle and if you follow me on instagram you know that this was my scent of the day on valentine's day because i am definitely vibing with this one just to recap how it smells like this in the opening smells very balsamic with a little bit of dryness from the saffron and as it dries down there is some earthiness coming from the oris and final dry down is that sweet vanilla that also has rose um it has an oriental feel in it however it's it's just different um and i really really love this fragrance Mm, highly recommend it especially if you are into a dark and sensual kind of rose that just smells different um when it comes to longevity and projection this is amazing guys it lasts for around six to eight hours it has a strong projection within the first two hours and then it develops into like moderate um i find it unisex as well like for me, like right in the middle because I love wearing unisex fragrances. But I think for those who are not really into unisex fragrances, you might find this masculine leaning. In my opinion, this is very unisex. Also, just to let you know, I got mine from Raffined Perfumery. And with Raffined, I have a discount code and Silky Woods is available in their website. Next up, I think is my favorite sexy perfume as of the moment and this is black dragon by byron performs if you're watching my channel you know already that i'm very very impressed with this one as a matter of fact this is my 
current favorite Byron perfume. Mm. Guys, this is dark, sensual, and just complex. Mm. Imagine having a fresh and ripe pineapple and mango fruit drizzled with honey and by chance someone passed by smoking an expensive cigar yeah that is the vibe of this fragrance i really really love it um i've been searching for a mango scent that i will really love and i found it in this fragrance this to me is so sexy like Something that I will definitely wear if I will go to an expensive lounge bar. This to me has that vibe of when seekers and fruit cocktail meet. Very dark, addictive, and sensual honey, tobacco, and fruit cocktail combo. For someone who's into dark and complex kind of fragrances, unique as well. I highly, highly recommend you checking out Black Dragon by Byron Parfums. Now, I'm going to talk about my latest go-to bedtime scent. And I just find this combo so sexy, guys. So basically, I am using the Narciso um, Rodriguez Body Lotion together with Narciso Rodriguez Musk Noir Rose. Basically, this lotion smells like um, the Narciso White Cube and just layering them both together, oh my god, just gives that extremely sexy musk that is not um, overpowering. I love the dark rose, plum, um, pink pepper, and bergamot that are in here and then Mixed with this Narciso Musk Lotion, guys. <laughs> um, what I love about this combo is that it doesn't smell overpowering. As I know, a lot of you find Narciso Rodriguez uh, perfumes quite musk overpowering. But I think these two have very good balance in them that they're really really great match in heaven and i find that when i use these two together oh my the scent just lingers and last my pajama smells like this and basically that's what i smell like at uh, nighttime nowadays um yeah so that dark rose plus that narciso rodriguez musk with a touch of plum and pink pepper yes 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 definitely sexy and alluring next up is my og sexy perfume and this is angel muse <laughs> and for sure you won't be surprised right showing you the edt version um because my edp bottle is broken but guys, I just bought a backup bottle at Deluxe and I'm so happy. So yeah, I'm not scared anymore to run out of this perfume. Basically, this smells like the perfect pink pepper, grapefruit, and hazelnut cocoa spread combo that you can ever imagine. This smells like chocolatey and a little bit earthy because of the patchouli. However, there's that pink pepper and grapefruit that just controlled the overall essence of this fragrance and the dry down just smells so alluring and sexy guys to me this is one of the sexiest perfumes from the designer's world and i am aware that it is discontinued so, so if you can still grab this perfume wherever you live do it guys especially if you think we have the same taste in perfumes definitely alluring yet elegant as well and it definitely screams sex appeal angel muse by mugler next fragrance is kayali invite only <gasps> You know what, when I was compiling the fragrances to discuss in today's video, I stumbled upon this and I just realized, oh my god, I haven't used this for a long time. And this is sexy. 
another sexy fragrance guys i definitely get honeyed sour cherries sprinkled with cinnamon powder and tobacco this to me is another dark and complex kind of fragrance i must say one of the most complex kayali if you are into tobacco however you are scared to really smell like a cigar <laughs> I highly recommend you checking this one out. If you love cherries and cinnamon in fragrances, you gonna love this. And also, I must say, this is one of the longest lasting Kayali fragrances as well. Let's say on me, this lasts more than eight plus hours. This definitely smells sexy and alluring, and I highly recommend you checking this one out especially if you are into tobacco honey and cherry scents yeah so that is invite only by kayali another dark sensual cherry scent cherry privé by viva more and this one is not just your ordinary cherry because this is a very dark boozy cherry almond kind of fragrance that has the darkness coming from the amber and cedar so imagine that this is dark and boozy but at the same time woody as well because of that cedar and sandalwood in the base i love this fragrance it is definitely a must try for someone who is into cherries and i know that it doesn't have tobacco however it is giving off that tobacco vibe as well love this fragrance the almond in here is quite prominent and it's not the type of almond that i don't like in fragrances the almond that is in here is unsweetened i think um so it's just giving you that almond essence vibe uh you know not the extremely Toot achingly sweet almond that is quite present in some perfumes mm, yes and the cherry in here of course is the star but yeah this is just like dark boozy and woody as well i think this is quite underrated as well from viva more so i highly highly recommend you checking this one out if you are into this sexy and alluring vibe and by the way when it comes to longevity and projection this lasts long on me let's say around eight plus hours guys and it has a very strong projection for the first two hours with viva more i have 20 percent discount code just in case you're interested it's jm20 notice that i'm just talking a lot about cherry fragrances and i think this will be the last one within that cherry category and this is of course cherry punk by room 1015 guys if you watch my channel you know that this is my favorite cherry perfume yeah period Mm. this is like that syrupy kind of cherry mixed with leather it is so so good guys ah uh, this has saffron and Sichuan pepper it actually controls the sweetness of the cherry the leather in here is not animalic at all everything is well blended um, so if you are a fan of cherry, violet, leather, saffron, I highly recommend you checking out Cherry Punk. I think this perfume will always grab attention. My favorite cherry perfume, Cherry Punk, the extra, the perfume version, by the way, okay? By Room 1015. I didn't like that much the original Cherry Punk as it's missing something and I found it in here with room 1015 i have a discount code as well and i'm gonna link it down below the last three perfumes are like the strongest um when it comes to projection in today's list and having said that i have to talk about atomic rose if you watch my channel you know this is like my ride or die rose scent okay 
and what can I say? To me, this is just the sexiest dark and peppery rose that I've ever tried. Mm. There's something in here that is very sexy yet elegant and sophisticated and basically those three adjectives are the kind of fragrances that I am drawn into. This fragrance is loved by many for a reason, but of course the number one reason is that you must be a rose scent lover. I will always have this in my collection and yeah, this will be part of my top 10 for life, I think, every year. Yeah, that is Atomic Rose by Initial. Okay, last two guys, and I think these last two perfumes are quite complex and may not be loved by everybody, but I love them to the core. Rosendo Mato, number five. Basically to me, this smells like the signature scent of an exotic and sexy brunette lady. Mm, this is so good. If you're not familiar with the scent of Rosendo Mato number no. 5, it is very heavy in amber, vanilla, and musk. And, you know, I also get that saffron note in here that is not listed. And, and I know that saffron um, note, I think, is giving some burnt tire um, vibe to some people. Mm. But to me, guys, this is so good. I think this fragrance will really vary on your skin chemistry i can imagine people not really getting along with this fragrance but then guys if this goes very well with your skin chemistry this is to me one of the sexiest perfume ever it's the sexiest amber musk combo that you can ever get. And when it comes to longevity and projection, this is loud, guys. You will definitely be smelled when you wear this. Um, highly recommend Rosendo Mato number no. five. If you are into amber and musk scent. Last but not the least is an oldie but a goodie, but I still take this out from time to time as I feel like the sexiest woman entering a room when I wear this fragrance. And this is Musk Ravager by Frederick Mom. This fragrance is just your ultimate animalic musk that will give you instant confidence. The opening may smell too masculine for some because this has a heavy lavender and bergamot in the opening but then as it dries down um the sweetness of cinnamon and vanilla comes up. and there is some spiciness as well coming from the cloves so it's not just like you know a bang animalic musk straight away definitely not for everyone i think if you are the type who loves wearing unisex fragrances and you love the idea of just smelling different from the other women in the room i highly recommend you checking out musk ravager not your typical musk definitely but you must love lavender animalic musk amber and sandalwood in perfumes in order to appreciate this it's Musk Ravager by Frederick Mall. So that wraps up the top 10 sexiest perfumes I own in my collection. Now I want to know which perfumes you consider the sexiest in your collection. Please write me in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next one. Bye guys!